Hello guys, how are you doing? You welcome back. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukumi BK Crown. So a man who angrily asked a question and Dr. Zakinai gave him an answer to his question. What could that be? Let's check it out. My name is Sivam. I'm from Malaysia. I'm actually uh, been all over the world to do the best to get the most uh, peaceful mind for all over the brothers. Okay, I have a company in Malaysia which have all the people working with me, including Africans, Pakistanis, Bangladesh, Thailand, and a few other countries. Mm. Oh, what I find here, I would like to talk, I will be very pleased to, uh, and thanks to you all to give me opportunity as a last talk. I was following up these for many, around eight years, you know. So why am I disappointed here now? When you talk about the peace, it should not come from only the word. It should be come from the activities. Okay, the major things going on in the world is not in the way of peace. You must understand the most peaceful language is come from a love. What is going on in the Middle East now? It's politics. I just now don't want to voice out because the politician is here. I don't want to see any politician because the politician, the world become crashed. Okay, I want to soon and hang up because you know why, you know. So my question here is very very clear okay. you cannot deny it if we do the good thing the best thing even i giving the best thing to my staff is from all over the world i'm taking them as my own family then when i die he said i didn't carry the good things i don't go to the correct place who went to the heaven and come back and tell that i never been the whole place brother Please, brother what's the see? question Mother brother brother this is a question on the time yeah. What is your question? You already My given question is very clear. Yes, I was looking into the question that people putting on you. I'm very clear. It's all a basic question. I'm asking the floor. 80% or 90% of you, don't you understand what you say? You all should know very well. It's written in Quran. Everybody should know. Uh. You watch what I'm explaining now, just now. It's all a basic, which I know. I have a lot of brothers working with me. For all My question is, you cannot deny a person, if it is, I, mean, I respect all the religious, Hindu, you know, imagine some of them, you know what is the meaning of that? We respect all the religious, I'm a vegetarian, I don't eat fish, I don't chicken, I don't eat anything, okay? I got three children, I even touched my hand with my wife, you know? Just now you told me Hindu can marry more wife. I ever, never, never, even my wife die, I die. It's something like that. Brother, I'll ask a question. Brother, yeah. brother, I understood your question. Brother. You have given a short speech. Yeah, yeah. This is a question answer time. You are talking about yeah. practice and you are breaking the rules. Yeah, the rule yeah. I got. You give me a clear answer. If you are a non Muslim, if they do a lot of good things, you want to pay for the masjid or what, I've done everything for church and all. You are, tell, you are telling me that I don't get the correct message to go to the correct place? Brother, ask the question that if a non Muslim gives charity, etc., so, and he said that. Will you go to the correct place? Your question is everything garbled. You have to ask simple question. You have given short, short speeches that you should not read book. You should practice Middle East. You have family. Exactly. You said so many words, but there was no clear cut question. Exactly. A question should have a question mark in the no, ending. What I'm trying to say very simple. Can, can you give me the answer? If non Muslim good things, even, even give our life to Muslim, we didn't do the best for you all even when I die. Many people say it's very pity if you're not Muslim. Is this correct answer? Oh. Brother is asking that if a non-Muslim does good things like he has given charity, yeah. so when he dies, will he go to heaven or hell? That's what I understand. Brother, the answer I already gave earlier. When you sit for an examination, like when I sat for my 10 standard ICSC, there were six subjects I had to pass. Science, English, Hindi, History, Geography, I had to pass. If I get 100 out of 105 subjects and one subject science, I get 10 out of 100, will I pass? I will fail. So similarly, the criteria to go to Jannah, to go to paradise, is you should have faith, number one, righteous deeds, exhort people to truth, exhort people to patient perseverance. You may be a righteous person, you may be giving charity, etc. But if you don't have faith, if you don't believe in the one true God, if you don't worship the true God, you fail the test. So for you to pass, you have to pass in all the four criteria. Iman, that is have faith, believe in one true God, 
should not do idol worship, should not believe in false gods. Number two, righteous deed. Number three, exhorting people to truth, that is Dawa. Number four, exhorting people to patience and perseverance. So you, if you do not believe in the one true God and do not worship Him alone, associate partners with Him, under no circumstances in the next life will you pass, you will fail. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. Can we take the uh, the way I'm, I'm trying to understand this answer is the fact that the man is trying to say that if you don't become a Muslim, you can't go to paradise, can't go to heaven. I, I, that's how I, mean, I see this answer because I, I'm sure something led to this man's question. Maybe Zach Knight actually explained some things that got him angry and he was like, Ooh, because the man was just you know really really uttering a lot of words out of anger saying that okay if you are not a muslim does that mean that you you when you don't do good deeds you will not go to heaven like muslim believes that if you go if you do good deeds you are guaranteed to go to heaven straight up as long as you are doing good deeds you are doing you know what allah say you should do you go but it's not saying that what if you do good deeds to a non-muslim or you are you are just a normal muslim boy you do good things to other religion does does that mean you will not go to everyone he also made a point he said those people that actually go to heaven they don't come back to tell us that okay well, it's true that if you do good deeds you go so are you sure that truly truly that is a guarantee for you to go to heaven to paradise that you have to do a good deeds how is it like He's asking the outcome. Does it have to be in that manner? And out of because the man was angry, like Nike did not really get most of his points. He just speak one of his questions in which he said, the non-Muslim, are they going to go to paradise? Like what will happen to the non-Muslim if they don't um do the things Muslim are supposed to do? So he said you have to become a Muslim for you to go to paradise. But well that's for the islam because me i believe that every religion have their own take when it comes to going to heaven i'm sure hindu too they have their own that you have to do this for you to go to heaven christianity too we have our own islam too they have their own so that's what i would say but man the man was really really angry he uh, was not even convinced enough with that answers it's just that they didn't give him time to talk they <laughs> they gave him you know sign that he has to leave if not that man would have no brought down the everyone hurts seriously like wow but that was a beautiful question i really enjoyed it and there was real sense in everything he said even though he said it out of anger he, he really said his mind and in mind of a lot of people out there and wow that was beautiful beautiful to watch thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more take care bye